endocuff-assisted versus standard colonoscopy in the fecal occult blood test-based UK bowel cancer screening program, ECAP study, a randomized trial. Introduction. Bowel cancer is the third most common cancer in the UK and the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Colonoscopy and the endoscopic removal of adenomas reduce colorectal cancer mortality. For every 1% increase in the adenoma detection rate, ADR, there is a 3% decrease in the risk of interval colorectal cancer. The UK Bowel Cancer Screening Program, BCSP, uses fecal occult blood test, FOBT, to select high-risk individuals to undergo colonoscopy. However, colonoscopy has an inherent adenoma miss rate of up to 25%. Keeping this in mind, colonoscopy in the UK BCSP is restricted to very select colonoscopists who have been carefully selected based on their large lifetime experience and excellent performance indicators, and then accredited by undergoing a theory-based exam and a clinical assessment. Modifications of the endoscopic technique, such as by increasing withdrawal times, have been shown to increase lesion detection. The use of smooth muscle relaxants, such as hyoscine butyl bromide, has shown mixed results. In addition, a number of technologies and devices have been shown to improve polyp detection. However, none have translated yet to mainstream practice, as we still need well-designed trials to prove the superiority and cost-effectiveness of devices over the expertise of a well-trained colonoscopist. The Endocuff Vision, ARC Medical Design Limited, Leeds, England, is a disposable device that attaches to the end of the colonoscope. It has a single horizontal row of soft, flexible arms that remain collapsed during insertion, but flare out on withdrawal to engage mucosal folds and flexures. This allows inspection of otherwise challenging areas and improves scope stability. It is a modification of the first-generation endocuff, which had two rows of flexible arms. Results from randomized controlled trials, RCTs, of the first-generation endocuff have demonstrated mixed success. Flower et al. demonstrated a 14.7 percentage point increase in ADR compared with standard colonoscopy. Van Dorn et al. also reported an increase in ADR, but no difference in mean adenomas per patient, and a lower sequel intubation rate when comparing endocuff with standard colonoscopy. These studies did not specifically address a screening population and did not have strict standardization of the endoscopist's expertise. There are currently no studies investigating such devices within a screening population where the gains could potentially be the greatest. We performed the first RCT comparing endocuff with standard practice in an organized bowel cancer screening program where the colonoscopy was performed by accredited experts. Background and study aims. Up to 25% of colorectal adenomas are missed during colonoscopy. The aim of this study was to investigate whether the endocuff could improve polyp detection in an organized bowel cancer screening program, BCSP. Patients and methods. This parallel group, single-blinded, randomized controlled trial included patients with positive fecal occult blood test, FOBT, who were attending for BCSP colonoscopy. The primary outcome was the number of polyps per patient. Secondary outcomes included the number of adenomas per patient, adenoma and polyp detection rates, and withdrawal times. Results, a total of 534 BCSP patients were randomized to endocuff-assisted or standard colonoscopy. The mean age was 67 years, and the male-to-female ratio was 1.8 to 1. The authors detected no significant difference in the number of polyps per patient, standard 1.8, endocuff 1.6, P equals 0.44, Adenomas per patient, standard 1.4, endocuff 1.3, P equal 0.54, polyp detection rate, standard 69.8%, endocuff 70.3%, P equals 0.93, adenoma detection rate, standard 63.0%, endocuff 60.9%, P equals 0.85, advanced adenoma Detection rate, standard 18.5%, endocuff 16.9%, P equals 0.81, and cancer detection rate, standard 5.7%, endocuff 5.3%, P equals 0.85. The mean withdrawal time was significantly shorter among patients in the endocuff group compared with the standard colonoscopy group, 16.9 versus 19.5 minutes, P less than 0.005. The endocuff had to be removed in 17 of 266 patients, 6.4%, because of inability to pass through the sigmoid colon. Conclusions. 
This study did not find improved polyp or adenoma detection with endocup-assisted colonoscopy in the FOBT-positive BCSP population. A shorter withdrawal time with endocuff may reflect improved views and stability provided by the endocuff.